Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Toy World TW02 Orion, and I love this toy. This figure was released way back in October of 2013. I skipped out on this one, and I finally got a chance to own one, and I am absolutely loving this figure. I have not been able to put this figure down and just stop fiddling with it. Now, Orion here is obviously an Optimus Prime figure, and he is based on the IDW comics that were popular at the time of this guy's release. So it's a, a kind of a G1 stylized G1-ish uh, uh, kind of a Optimus Prime. It's a very cool, very interesting take on Optimus Prime. So here we have Prime, or Orion. I'm probably going to call him Prime, so let's just get used to that. But here we have Orion in his truck mode it is approximately seven inches long from uh, the the bumper to the uh, back of the truck here about two and a half inches tall three and a half if you want to go up here to the top of the wind vane so he's he's a about voyager size a little larger than voyager size and you'll see a little bit more of that here in a moment when i do some comparisons going all the way around very very cool truck. i really dig the design of this truck. It's very, very cool. You got the nice reds up front, the blues in the back, very clean truck mode. You really don't see any robot parts sticking out. Very, very nice. I like the long uh, windshield that goes all the way across here. You can see some uh, nice details here in the windshield wipers. You got some, it's kind of weird. The, the, all the lights are kind of detailed in blue, uh, which is interesting. And then you've got your, uh, your grill and your bumper uh, right there. You can actually see, it's really cool because it is a sleeper cab, which it stands to reason that Prime would be a sleeper cab. Um, so he, he does have the extended cab back here. You can actually see details for the doors and the window right there. And you can see some of the uh, compartments for equipment that you would usually see in trucks. Very nice, clean looking truck all the way around. Rolls really, really nicely. And uh, yeah, that's, that's really kind of about it for the truck. He does come with a weapon. So this is his weapon right here. And again, very G1 style, uh, G1 Prime style weapon uh, right there. It can store in vehicle mode. It's got two slots here on the back. You've got two tabs on the back of Prime right there, Orion. And you can just kind of slot that in if I can actually see what I'm doing here. There you go. You can just slot that right back there. And away you go. You're ready to go. Now, of course, if you know me, you know that I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm going to show you something else that we can do in just a moment real quick for comparison here he is with what was at the time kind of the standard for a voyager class figure and that would have been the classics optimus prime and as you can see he's a little larger than the classic prime than the voyager so that actually works really really well because they did a very very cool thing here if you look at the back here there is a uh, a pair of tabs that come together in vehicle mode to form a hitch Right. So now this works for any trailer that would have worked for this guy. Right. So if you look at the back here, you've got the same thing. The two tabs that come together to form that square peg right there. So that means that any trailer that works for this guy works for this guy. So here to demonstrate is the uh, what was this one called? The uh, G, uh, the, the G3 trailer from from Pants Project. So here's this one here. And again, you're going to go that, that round um, peg or, or rather slot back here. On the bottom, that's going to peg right up there. And there you go. You got you got Orion pulling a trailer, looking absolutely awesome. And of course, now you can take the gun and just store it in the trailer. And this looks absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, he can turn all the way around. He can move back and forth. He can pull that trailer. And he looks absolutely fantastic. And in my opinion, actually scales better than this guy did. This, this guy, I always thought, and if you've seen my review of this guy, I always thought that this trailer was a little too big for this guy, but you can see it's 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 really kind of almost perfectly sized for that one right there. Absolutely love the way that looks. So we'll get this guy re here back in center. We'll get ready for transformation. Now, let me just say this about transformation. Uh, okay, story time. Um, <laughs> I picked this guy up recently at TFCon 2021 in Baltimore, and I got this guy from the Chosen Prime. Uh, they had a table of, uh, I want to say, may, let's let's call it loose figures. They were, I mean, they were loose, but they weren't. Uh, and these are figures that have either been used on display 
or figures that they've uh, bought back from uh, collect from private collections, right? So, and they had them, you know, they're 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 fully inspected and cert- let's go say certified uh, and and repackaged really nicely, but. I didn't get him in his his original packaging, and also I didn't get instructions for him, right? So what I got is what you see, the figure and the gun, that's it. So in terms of transformation, this the guy, transformation for this guy, it, it's not super hard once you kind of know the, how it works, um, but it is fiddly. There's a lot of tabs that have to tab in different places at the same time. So it can be a little fiddly and it's probably going to be difficult to show off on camera. And also there's a good chance I'm not going to get it in the correct order or something like that because um, I have had to just go online and watch video after video after video just to see how this guy transforms. So that being said, let, let, <laughs> let's get to it. You've been warned. Okay, um, so we're going to start here at the bottom and I'm just going to start pulling down on the sides there and just untabbing all of the sides here just to free things up. And we're going to start right here with these blue panels, flip these back. And we're going to start working on the legs here. And you can see that as soon as I did that, the legs just kind of unpacked together. The legs do tab together and they, they stay okay in truck mode. Uh, once you get everything together, they stay okay. But on their own, you know, they can pop off rather easily. Right now they're holding, but you can pop them off rather easy. So the legs probably already picked off on you if you're following along at home. I love the leg transformation on this guy i think this is one of the most elegant leg transformations for an optimus prime figure i've ever seen and quite honestly i think this should be the standard for <laughs> leg transformations on all prime toys check this out the wheels right here this whole piece with the wheels here is going to slide out and then it's going to rotate it rotates easier one way than the other and then it slides back in and then we're going to bring these back and tab them here and here to close that up and then down here on the side, this panel here, this is gonna come up. We're gonna spin it around. And then we're gonna bring this up and tab it here. Just like that. And then bring out the foot and bring out the heel. And you can take this panel, you can push it back in if you want, or you can leave it out a little bit. It's completely up to you. This is supposed to be a stylized uh, prime. So, you know, completely up to you. He is supposed to have some weird angles. And then the knee plate here can actually just go up on that double hinge a little bit right there. That's it. That's that's it for the leg. So once again, take the wheels, pull them out, spin this thing around, push that back in, tab the side panel in. Let's push that knee up, get it out of the way. Move this panel, rotate this panel all the way around. You got to watch these tabs. These tabs are going to get caught and stuff. And then bring it back, tab it in there, bring up the foot, bring back the heel. And there are your legs pretty much done. Again, I think this is super elegant. You see a little bit of the wheels on the back there, and that's about it. And look at that clean leg right there. Absolutely love that. All right. Now, here's where things start to get tricky. We got to do kind of a lot of things all at the same time in different places here. Let's start with, I tend to forget this, so let's just do this now. I'm going to pull this wind vane up, and then these little front panels here for the wind vanes, I'm going to go ahead and fold these down. I have a tendency to forget that step i also have a tendency to forget this step take the leg right here this is on a slider let's do it from the back so you can see this is going to slide like so to actually get that leg straight that's another step i tend to forget so as i catch myself i may go back and do it again just you know to make sure i get it right bumper right here pull the bumper straight down this is tabbed in see the tabs there are tabbed into the bottom of the grill right here and then just bring this down fold the sides up and we're just gonna kind of let that hang there for the moment. Uh, we got these out. Now, again, a couple of things here that all have to happen at the same time. So, let's get these panels. Let's try, let's start here with the uh, headlight panels. These have to unclip, and these are tabbed here, here, and here. And then that's just gonna come up. Let's do that over here as well. So as you're doing this, you're gonna find yourself massaging things just to kind of make room for those tabs. So we'll, we'll get those there. And now the arms, this whole piece here is the arm and this whole thing needs to flip out, but it is tabbed here. It's tabbed in the front to the windshield and it is also tabbed in the back to this piece, to these little gray hinges that you see back there. So I like to take the windshield and just pop it open. Again, the windshields are tabbed into the grill. So just take that, actually, yeah, let's 
Take the windshield, pop it open. Let's take this windshield here. Let's pop that open. You see the little tabs right there that were behind the grill? Let's pop this open. There is a matrix in there that can be removed. We'll look at that here in a moment. Pull this piece of the windshield down and then this top piece right here, fold it. That's gonna be needed. That needs to be folded in for robot mode. Push it back. And then for now, I'm not gonna close the windows just yet. I'm gonna bring them on these, this hinge here that's on the slider just to get these tabs out of the way to be able to move the arms. So I'm gonna do that on both sides there and there. While I'm at it, I'm gonna come back here. Uh, well, now I'm just gonna go ahead and try to pull the arm out. So you can see the arm starts to come out right there. And there's a tab or rather a peg right there that was pegged into this side of the arm right here. So let's, let's work on the arm here. We can collapse this. And then this should slide out some. There is a double hinge here. So you can see right there, it's flat up to the top. We're gonna wanna fold that hinge down and point it outwards here in a moment. This back part of the sleeper starts to come out. That's gonna form the forearm. And you can see how this guy's gonna come down again. And as we do that, we can bring this windshield back, peg that into place and close that part of the windshield down. All right, so this is going to come down. We're gonna move the arm this way. That's gonna let us, let's see, are we able to rotate this yet? Actually, we should do that while we're up here. So we're, once we're going to bring the arm back up here and we're going to rotate this all the way around so that we have which way to go. Oh, I think it's that way. Yep, it's that way. So we want the uh, little head uh, windshield or rather, uh, I'm getting all confused, the headlight piece as far down as possible. And then we can bring the arm down and rotate this out. This panel right here is going to be flat. It's very minimum, but this just pops outwards like that just to create one of those, you know, funky angles like we saw in the comic book. We can reach down here, open up this panel and rotate out the fist. Close the panel again. And that's pretty much that arm done. Uh, there is one more piece of pegging that needs to be done. And uh, we'll take care of that in just a moment. So we're going to ba go back over here and just kind of do it all over again. So we're going to pull this whole thing out like so and just start kind of loosening things up, move out the forearm. I really kind of like how the back of the cab or the back of the sleeper is the forearm. We're gonna bring this down on the double hinge again. Make sure we have enough room here to do that. There's a slider. And then bring that back in to peg the windshield into the arm and then close that back up again. While we're up here, we wanna, let's get this arm out of the way, rotate this so that the headlight piece is pointing straight down. That's gonna let us bring the arm down and straighten it out. Again, we can open up the little bottom panel here, rotate the fist out. Tolerances are tight on this guy sometimes. I find myself kind of struggling to get things out. There's the fist out, close that up. All right, arms are done. Now, uh, all right, this is so cool. I love this. All right. The grill, we're going to put, again, now this is another piece, another bit of transformation that I think should become standard uh, for Optimus Prime figures. This is so cool. We're going to take this grill, we're going to push it back all the way as far as it'll go. And now we're going to take these bottom pieces with the wheels right here and we're going to rotate these up. And watch what happens here because of the way that this is designed. Watch this. It forms, if I don't get caught on something, what am I caught on? There we go. It's going to hide the wheels away. And then it's also going to form the front of his chest and actually give us a proper uh, shape for the grill while using the actual truck grill. It's not using a fake grill or anything like that. It's using the actual truck. I think that is absolutely genius. That should be standard chest transformation. The leg transformation and the chest transformation should be standard for all Optimus Prime figures. That's absolutely brilliant. We can go ahead and straighten out the robot and turn them around at the waist. We're gonna bring this up on this double hinge right there and tab it into place. We're almost done. All right, now this last part here can be a little tr tricky. Uh, you'll see why in a moment. All right, so we're gonna take these panels, need to close up and you can see the peg. So there's a peg hole here and a peg hole here. And this is not the peg that we're gonna use. We want that one there. Now, sometimes, let's see if I can do it over here. 
you're gonna rotate the wind vane and then pull this down and that's not doing it on that side. Let's see if this side will do it. If I rotate this and pull down on it, there you go. Sometimes when you pull down on the wind vane, the peg will come out, right? So this side did it just fine. And then now it's just a matter of lining up that peg with that hole and then pegging it in. So now the shoulder is actually pegged into place on the back and in the front. The chest and the back are both kind of sandwiching and pegging the, the, the shoulder in place, which is absolutely awesome, very secure. Now on this side, as you see, the wind vane is not quite moving it for me. So now I need to get in there and just kind of scoop that up. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to employ a tool here. Uh, I got my little, little sword right here, so I'll just use this. And uh, it's fiddly. Like I said at the beginning, it's fiddly and I don't have instructions for this guy. So bear with me while I try <laughs> to get that little piece out. All right, so we cut that out. Line that up. And again, that peg's going to go right in there. This bottom peg should be facing straight up. This peg you want out like that. So the inside peg needs to be facing up. That peg needs to be facing forward. And we're going to peg it right there behind the shoulder to secure the figure in place. These wind vape pieces, you can do whatever you want with them. Uh, you can leave them straight. You can angle them out. Some, I've seen some people pop them off and, and, and swap them and then, you know, so that they're hiding. It's completely up to you. I will straighten out his arms. Make sure that these are popped up. And finally, the last thing we got to do here is pull the head out right there. Turn it around. And there is Orion in robot mode. And I really dig the design of this figure. This is such a cool, it's, it's again, it's very G1, but at the same time, it's also very comic book and very stylized. And it's just a very, very cool looking figure. Now here in the robot mode, he is approximately eight inches tall. And just to kind of go all the way around, again, not a whole lot of kibble. Um, a little bit like the headlights are sitting here behind the shoulders, but you, I mean, you don't even really know what those are because of the way they're designed with just those stripes. Um, you don't really even know what you're looking at there. So it just looks like, you know, some couple of small panels on the back of his shoulders. Um, you can argue that the bumper does stick out of the sides right there. I, this doesn't bother me. I know this bothers a lot of people. I don't, I, 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 this doesn't bother me. I just, I just don't see a problem with that, but, but it's there. I mean, I should point that out. And of course you got the wind vanes, which a lot of people don't like either, but there you go. Just kind of going all the way around. Look at that. I love the way those wheels just hide back there. The leg transformation on this thing is absolutely awesome. And the chest transformation, the way that we have this, sh this shape for the chest, for the grill, while using the actual grill that was on the truck is absolutely genius. I love that about this. Real quick, we can open up the chest so you can see the details inside. And this will open up and there is a little matrix in here that you can fling out and loose. And uh, <laughs> let me see if I can get this in. A little closer and in focus that's gonna be the hard part is for my camera for there you go very cool very nice little matrix right there included with this piece that is super super awesome so let's get this guy I, I I have not tried to have him hold it I mean honestly let's see his fingers all move but they're all together um, and honestly, I mean, you, you would only be able to put one finger in there. So, I mean, it's really kind of pointless. It just, it just comes out and, uh, it's cool that it does that. So there you go. So that can pop right back in there, close that up and then just close these guys around it. I love the shape of this chest that stylized the, the, the two windows kind of sticking out with the one window in the middle. Now I know that in the comic book, this middle window tended to be silver or gray with the Autobot logo in the center. Obviously I put toy hex stickers on this guy. And, uh, and I was considering maybe doing something where I would have an Autobot logo here as well until I realized that all three of these pieces that we're looking at here do come together to form the actual windshield of the truck. And I thought, well, that's going to just look silly for the truck to have uh, the Autobot logo in the middle of a windshield. So I decided not to do that. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, articulation wise, the head can go up and down a little bit just because of the transformation. You can move it up and down. There really isn't anything to lock that head in place. Uh, you can turn them side to side. The shoulders can go forward and backwards all the way around. You do have to work your way around the wind vane. They can go in and out, rotation at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and rotation at the wrist and the fingers. Uh, again, they're all uh, one piece, but they can open 
and close. You got rotation at the waist. All the little hip skirt pieces move so the legs can move forward that far. Actually, move that up out of the way. They can move all the way forward. Back that far, in and out. Rotation just above the knee, bend at the knee. The toes can move up and down a little bit and they can also rotate for some uh, ankle tilt looking poses. So there you go, very, very nice. Now let's get that weapon back in here. And again, all we're gonna do here is just close up his fist. I keep pushing these panels closed, that's what you're seeing me do. And then that's just gonna peg right in there. The peg seems a little short, if you ask me. Um, he does have a tendency, like right now he's holding it fine, but if I start fiddling around with him, uh, he would have a tendency to start, you know, kind of losing his grip on the weapon and it just kind of starts to move around. So as I'm trying to pose him and stuff like that, I, I've noticed that the weapon tends to like kind of start to come loose. And there you go. This is an awesome figure. I, again, I skipped out on this guy originally and, uh, I'm just, I, 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 I found, again, I found him at TFCon at the chosen prime table loose, uh, and I got a really good deal on it. So it's something, if he was packaged just like this on a, on a card with some shrink wrap and you just saw him in robot mode. And, and as soon as I saw him in person, I'm like, man, that's a really good looking prime. I really, really want that. So let's do a couple more comparisons one more time. Here he is with Classics Prime. So you can see again, at the time that this guy came out, this guy was sort of the standard uh, when it comes to Voyager class Optimus Primes, he was kind of the standard. So uh, just to kind of get the uh, size uh, comparison right there. And then let's compare him to the current uh, standard, which would be the Earthrise Optimus Prime. And uh, so, you know, and arguments go around that, well, this is a leader class. Well, yeah, it's sold at a leader price point because it is a Voyager fig size figure with a trailer. So basically you're buying, you know, a, a Voyager with, with an accessory pack at a leader price point. But the size of this figure, you can see very clearly, it's it's Voyager sized, right? Which was what this guy was. And again, Orion here is a little, not quite leader class, not, somewhere in between Voyager and leader, uh, which is actually a perfect scale for him, especially if you wanna use him with uh, one of the trailers. So absolutely fantastic. Again, uh, I found this guy at TFCon in Baltimore, 2021. I found him loose, got a really good deal on him, and I am super happy uh, to finally to add him to my collection. Not to finally, because it's, it's one that I really didn't pay attention to. Um, just happy to have found him and, and, and to kind of discovered him. This is an absolutely fantastic figure and an excellent addition to any Optimus Prime collection. And I think that about does it for the Toy World TW02 Orion. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got a donate button up there. If you want to hit on that, I certainly would appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime. <laughs>